Hi kids, I'm Mr. Dave, and today we're going to make some metal. But we're going to do it in a very special way. We're going to make a randomly generated doom metal song using Dungeons and Dragons dice. Of course, we also need loud guitars, bass, drums, and a vocal generator. Uh, you don't expect me to do the vocals, do you? Let's start with our digital audio workstation. We're going to work in a program called Reaper. Ooh, scary, isn't it? This is where we'll record our audio and MIDI tracks for our song. In fact, I'm using it right now to record my narration of this process. We'll need to add some instruments to get started. Let's start by loading our drum samples. I like to use Cult Drums 2 by Ugratone with the Vintage Doom Expansion set. I have my own preset that will load. I really like the way Cult Drums 2 sounds, but on my computer, they take a few minutes to load, and then choose my own preset. So while that's loading, let's go get a cup of coffee, tea, or some other beverage, shall we? Okay. Here's how they sound. Pretty cool, huh? Next, let's load up our bass instrument. I don't play actual bass guitar in most of my recordings. I prefer the sound of sampled bass instruments. They're much easier to control, and with my tiny little hands, playing an actual full-scale bass is difficult for me. Today, let's use an instrument called Decent Sampler for our sample player. And the sample set is called Funky Fingers. It's a sample of an old Vantage bass from the 1980s, and is very warm sounding, but can also get gritty. Now let's get the fun started with the guitar. We want a big, loud sounding, crushing tone that will sustain and feed back like a demon bellowing in the mountains. The guitar I'm using today is my old standby, an Agile AL3010 which is basically very similar to a Gibson Les Paul, but for way less money. The natural tone of this guitar is darker, since it's a mahogany body and neck, with vintage Alnico 5-style pickups. It also has a tone control for each pickup, which is essential to getting a thick tone. I'm running the guitar into a Digitech Freakout pedal, and then into a Line 6 Pod Go. That is recorded using the USB connection right into my computer so you get the purest tone directly into the recording software. Okay, we have our basic instruments, so let's get started. Doom metal, or at least the doom metal that I like, which is probably more like blackened drone funeral doom, is played slowly, focusing on the space between the notes, allowing sustain and feedback from the guitar to fill out the sound. Bands like Sun, Earth, Evoken, Bellwitch, Nadja, Thor's Hammer, Body Void, Primitive Man, Conate, Burning Witch, and so on, are the ones that come to mind as an influence on my sound. I was going to go into detail on the particular settings of my guitar and the whole setup, but I think that's way too detailed for this video. Let's save that for another video, and for now, let's focus on how I start composing the actual music. Now here's where the important stuff comes in. We have our equipment set up, but what we really need are notes to play. And they need to sound, well, doomy and dissonant. Notes that are not always in the proper scale. So here's how we're going to get some notes to play. As I mentioned before, we're going to randomly generate the notes by rolling D&D dice. Yes, those funky, nerdy, polyhedral dice that you use to play Dungeons & Dragons and a bunch of other role-playing games. The main die we're using first is the 12-sided die, now referred to as a D12. Roll the D12 and see what you get. Now, we're going to use the sixth string on the guitar as a reference for this exercise. Now, let's say we rolled a 6. The 6 we rolled now refers to the 6th fret on the 6th string of that guitar. That's the first note we play. Now, roll an 8-sided die, or a D8. Say you roll a 5. We play and hold that note, or chord, for 5 half notes.
Roll the d12 for the next note. Say we get a 9. We play the note at the 9th fret. How long do we hold or sustain that note? Roll the d8 again. We get a 3. So we hold the note for 3 half notes. And so on, until we have a riff about 4 or 5 notes long. Then repeat. That's our riff. Now how fast are we actually playing these notes? Let's set the tempo in our DAW at about 90 beats per minute, or even slower if you wish. I mean, it is a doom song. I'll enter these notes on the bass guitar track. Now, we'll copy-paste the notes into the drum track, and then convert them to 16th notes on the kick drum. Let's see how that sounds now. Do we want even slower sounding riffs? Instead of using half notes, use whole notes for a really long sustained sound. This is where your guitar tone is important, because your guitar really has to hold these notes for a long time without dying out before the next note. Need a faster riff? Use quarter notes, or even eighth notes. I think you get the idea. And that's our riffs. For the most part, the bass and guitar play in unison but you may want to add some guitar harmonies to spice things up. Fifth harmonies always work, but try some fourths or thirds too. And don't forget to double track the riff. Pan it to the left and right for maximum stereo fun. The drums in Doom songs tend to be played pretty slow, but you may want to add in some extra cymbals to fill out the space, and add a filler to at the end of a phrase before the next riff kicks in. Basically, that's it. We're mostly done. Next, vocals. I do not do vocals or singing. You do not want to hear me do any vocals or do any singing at all. I use a text-to-speech style VST instrument called Alter Ego to program my vocal parts into the song. Alter Ego has two basic voices to use. One is called Bones, which is a clean, male tenorish voice which sounds rather emo-ish. It sounds pretty good, but I tend to add a lot of vocal effects like delay and reverb, and I like to use a vocoder on these vocals too. The second voice available in Alter Ego is called Marie Orc, and this one is a black metal or death metal voice simulator. This is the one that we will be using, since my version of Doom Metal is a very blackened death influence style. There are a few tutorials on YouTube that show how to use Alter Ego. It's really an interesting tool. You basically type in or copy-paste your lyrics and play the syllables with a MIDI keyboard. The Marie Orc version doesn't sing any notes, so it doesn't matter what notes you hit, it all comes out the same, but in a black metal or death metal growl. Just play the syllables correctly to match the words, and you have black metal style vocals. Cool, huh? Yes! Now, where do we get lyrics from for our death metal simulated vocalist to sing? How 
how can we generate random lyrics for a doom metal song? I've actually used an online tool called the Gothamatic Poetry Generator. Create your goth poem, several choices and other options are available, and save it as a text file. Another website for random goth poetry is the Random Goth Lyric Generator. Then copy-paste these words into Alter Ego and fire away. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I hope to see you again soon.